What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in to the Rock the Watch channel. Guys, today we are going to do the full review of the Traska Free Diver. But before we do that, quick wristwatch check. What am I rocking today? Today I am rocking my Rado Golden Horse Hyperchrome. This is a sweet watch. So let's flip this camera around and take a look at this Traska Free Diver. Let's rock this watch. All right, guys, so here it is, the Traska Free Diver. So if you're familiar with my channel, I usually film an unboxing of most of the watches I get in. That way I can see initial impressions, first impressions, get an idea of what uh, I think and, and how the watches come. And I've actually filmed several watches that showed up broken or, or the wrong watch and all that kind of jazz. And I do that and then I spend about two weeks or so with the watch to get an idea of how, you know, so I don't miss anything, of how the watch wears, of things I like, things I don't like. This one's a little different. I did film an unboxing of this watch, but the footage got corrupted or I lost it. It just, it was a hot mess. So I'm going straight into the full review, but as you can see, I did do, here's the bag it came in. This is how the watch comes boxed from Trask. I'm sorry, this is how the watch comes boxed from Traska. So it comes in this really nice black sleeve with white Traska writing. Then comes in this little box, pop this open, little flap comes down. It comes in this very cool little, let me put this, set this box aside. Very cool little travel case, which is, you know, um, branded with Traska, It'll snap. The watch comes out, and since this is the full review, I did fit it to my wrist. It, this I thought was very cool. Comes with a little piece of like leather in between, so not scratching the watch up. That's how it came like that. So it, it's super cool. So there's the watch. The old Traska Free Diver with the mint green dial, went with the black ceramic bezel, and the date at the six o'clock. Guys. This watch is very cool, okay? This is a, a very nice watch, especially for, I pre-ordered this one, took about a month and a half to come in, and I paid a 550 for it on pre-order. I think they're 600 now, but they're sold out. They said there's more coming in, but who knows? I wanted to get one of these over a year ago, and then coronavirus hit. It took a year for them to, to get them back in stock, to get a new batch made and back in stock. I wasn't missing this opportunity, man. So there it is. Look at that green dial. Let me zoom in on that sucker. Look at that dial. It is very nice. Very nice. So let's get into the specs and features of this watch. This watch has a 40.5 millimeter case. It is 12 and a half millimeters thick. It is 48 millimeters lug to lug to the drilled lugs as you can see, and it has a 20 millimeter lug width. It is powered by a Miyota, Miyota 9039 automatic movement. As you can see, it has the, I chose the mint green dial colorway. It has applied indices, okay? Date window at the six o'clock, which is a circle, which is very cool. This has a, a, a chapter ring, minute markers on the chapter ring, all the way around. The Traska, let me move that out the way right quick. The Traska logo at the 12 o'clock. Let's zoom in, we're talking about this dial. Very cool, automatic 200 meters, 660 feet. That is its water resistance. This has, screw this back down, a 120 click unidirectional dive style bezel. And the clicks are very nice. Little bit of playback, but the clicks are really nice. This is a little bit harder to grip because it's kind of, 
It's not very tall. The grip is good on it, but it's not very tall. It lines up perfectly. Um, it is loomed, by the way. It, uh, the, it with a Swiss Super Luminova. And this has a three o'clock screw down crown with no sign screw down crown with no crown guards. Guys, the brushing on this case is phenomenal. It is just beautiful brushing. Let me zoom in again and get that. Look at that. I mean, it is, it's polished on these beveled edges here. Now this is the version two, which they changed a few things on it. There it is, there's a signed Trasca crown. And I like how it lines up perfectly. There's the drill lugs. The brushing's beautiful. This has a proprietary anti-scratch coating too, which apparently gives it a very, very high hardness. And it's very difficult to scratch. I'm not gonna test that right now, but I'll take their word for it. So this watch is made of 316L stainless steel. As discussed before, it does have 200 meters of water resistance. The bracelet is 20 millimeters tapering down to 16 millimeters. It is held together with screw pins. And let me tell you, they were difficult to get out, guys. If you, if you, there they are buggered up a little bit there that might have been one of the ones i took out took out but if you they definitely put like thread locker on these and they were difficult to get started once you got them started they would come out but just be be aware if you're trying to adjust this bracelet yourself it is going to be difficult to initially get them undone every one of this bracelet is very articulate every one of these links is an individual link and articulates so it just folds up just, I mean, it's really cool guys. Down to a fully milled clasp and yes, they have, look at that, they have prolonged it. There's prolage on the, on the inside clasp, a double deploying, double pusher, fold over clasp that has the prolage on it. There is the Trasca logo. It has a stainless steel screw down case back with not much writing on it, which which I kind of dig. I don't like that there's so much stuff on there. It's it's very simple and it's very nice. Trasca, 200 meters. Uh, I think that's the serial number or the model number. It says Free Diver. Let's turn this around this way. Free Diver Stainless Steel 316L, which we talked about before. If I didn't mention it, this is a ceramic loomed ceramic bezel insert. It's very cool. So this has a domed sapphire kind of a box sapphire glass with internal ar coating there you go caught it right there so it's a, it's a very nice watch it's a good looking watch i dig this mint green dial i think it's awesome i really do for the price you get a lot of watch for your money by the way if i didn't mention it before it does have solid in links as you can see right there no, no hollow in links for this watch. So what do I like about this watch? Uh, like everything, but there are a few weird kind of, I don't know, not weird, but maybe some quirks, maybe a little manufacturing thing, but I think it'll work out. There's really only one kind of quirk I found with this watch so far. This, this thing wears beautifully um it looks really cool it's the materials it's made of are very nice but this there's a little bit let me see if it's on this end which end is it let's see if i can catch it hear that squeaking let me see if it's on this end kinda I don't know if the microphone's picking that up, but the bracelet squeaks. So I don't know if, if that's gonna work itself out, but sometimes you can hear it on the wrist. That's why I first noticed that. I was like, wait, wait, did that squeak? So it's kind of squeaky. Yeah, I don't know if the mic's gonna pick that up, but it the bracelet squeaks. So if it, it might work itself out um, and that might go away, hell, I could probably just 
spray WD-40 in there or something and it'll go away. I'm not gonna do that though. But that's only the, the, the only little, little minor complaint about it. And again, kind of like I filmed a full review of a Breitling and it had this little baby indice there. I don't understand why they do that. This one is a little bit bigger than the one that was on the Breitling that had three o'clock uh, date window. So this one's a little bit bigger, but why? Why don't you just why don't you just make the date window a slight bit bigger and delete that whole indice? Trust me, when these hands are pointing straight down at six o'clock, you could tell what time it is. You know, you know. So let's get a loom shot of this sucker. Let me go ahead and turn these lights out. Let me uh, get my old UV flashlight here and hit her up. Let's see if it how well we get this. So yeah, man, very cool. Very nice loom, very nice. Guys, this is a great watch. If they come back in stock and you have to pay full price of $600, it's worth that all day long. Um, I got the little, we got people that pre-ordered got a little bit of a deal, like $50 off. I'll take it. But if you have to uh, order at six, dude, just get you one. They're awesome. Let's take the, uh, the Rado off here and see what this watch looks like on the wrist. Yeah. So there it is, gents. The Tresca Freediver with the mint green dial. Very cool. So let's go back and get the final thoughts on this Trasca Freediver. All right, guys, so there it is, the Trasca Freediver with the mint green dial. Guys, what do you think about this watch? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Look, 550, I, I will say 600 bucks because I don't think you can pay up for the 550 more. $600 for your Miota 9039 movement, boxed sapphire crystal, beautiful brushing, the, the legendary anti-scratch coating that they put on this watch. The uh, it's, it's a gorgeous watch, man. I highly recommend this sucker if you can get one. Now they come in different, um, they'll have the, they have a couple, diff couple different dial colors. You can get a stainless steel bezel, stuff like that. But man, this is a great watch. So guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and as always, rock that watch.